This video tutorial will guide you through the setup, pricing, and use on orders of spectacle lens procedure codes. Procedure codes dictate the pricing of spectacle lenses based on how they have been set up and configured in My Vision Express. To access and view current procedure codes in My Vision Express, navigate to File, Setup, Insurance, Procedure Codes. From the Procedure Code window, you will have the ability to search or filter for existing procedure codes or import procedure codes via the lookup service. Next, click on the VSP Import button to connect to the VSP server. This will populate the list of available procedure codes that can be imported, as well as their corresponding VSP option codes. You can select multiple procedure codes to import by holding down the control key on your keyboard and left mouse clicking the codes that you wish to import. To select all of the procedure codes to import, hold down the control key and press A to highlight the entire list. To search for a specific code, you can right click anywhere in the procedure code window, click filter, and enter in the desired search criteria. Highlight the items you wish to import, and then click the import button. To price out the procedure codes, right click anywhere in the procedure code window and select filter. In the type drop down, ensure that spectacle is selected and then click the OK button. This will allow you to view only the VSP codes which apply to spectacle lenses. It is best to begin by pricing out the spectacle lens base codes V2100 single vision, V2200 bifocal, and V2300 trifocal. In the following example, we will price out the procedure codes for a single vision high index transition lens. In the search window at the top of the procedure code window, enter the desired code you wish to price to filter to that particular code. In the UNC or usual and customary box, enter the desired price for the corresponding code. You will then be asked if you wish to update the retail price on corresponding spectacle lenses. Clicking Yes will then apply the updated price for any spectacle lenses which contain that particular procedure code and its corresponding option code, if applicable. You will then repeat the aforementioned process for both the material and option procedure codes. Note that there will be two of each procedure code, one for single vision and one for multifocal. Multifocal will be labeled as multi. For example, in the search field, enter the procedure code V2783 for high index. Highlight the code that you wish to price. Enter the desired price in the UNC field. and you will again receive the prompt asking if you wish to update the retail price on the corresponding spectacle lenses. Click Yes. And lastly, find the V2744 or Transitions code. Highlight the code that you wish to price and repeat the process again.
click yes when prompted and then restart my Vision Express for the changes to take effect. To access the Spectacle Lens Inventory, navigate to File, Inventory, Spectacle Lenses. This will display your current Spectacle Lens Inventory. To import additional lenses via VSP, click on the VSP Import button. Once the VSP lens import list is populated, select the lenses you would like to import by clicking on the import checkbox next to the spectacle lenses. Lenses highlighted in red denote that they have been previously imported. Once you are finished selecting lenses, click OK to begin the import process. Note that lenses imported via the VSP import feature will already have the applicable procedure codes and option codes attached. In this example, you can see that the procedure codes reflect the pricing that we previously entered for those codes, which are then combined to reflect the desired retail price for this particular lens. If you are not using the VSP import to build your lens inventory, or you need to manually add any lenses that are not present in the VSP import list, you will then be required to manually enter your lenses and assign and price the procedure codes that make up each lens style. If you do not use insurance, you can price out the spectacle lenses individually via the retail box. However, if you at any point begin to take insurance, the spectacle lenses will need to be redone and priced by procedure code. Note that multiplier pricing is not recommended for those who are using procedure code pricing to price out their lenses. In this quick order example, we have added a frame as well as the lenses that we previously priced out using the procedure code pricing. After you have added the lenses to the order, you must select the insurance company and plan from the drop-down list for insurance-based pricing to take effect. If you do not add the insurance plan, then when you modify the lens on the order, you will not be able to view the procedure codes attached to the lens. However, the retail price will still remain the sum of the procedure codes UNC pricing. You can then double-click on the lens or highlight the lens and select Modify from the menu on the right-hand side of the order screen to view the Modify Spectacle Lens screen. From this screen, you can then verify the correct procedure codes are listed and that they have the appropriate charges associated with them so that the lens is priced correctly. This concludes our video tutorial on Spectacle Lens Procedure Code Setup, Pricing, and Use on Orders. Thank you for watching. Please remember to visit us at Support Central where you can view additional videos including Spectacle Lens Inventory.